Hi, I'm Greg Ryan, the Dean of the Faculty of Environment, Society and Design. I want to welcome all students who are um, doing degrees across our diverse faculty, uh, postgrad and undergrad. Um, you scarcely need me to tell you that we are living in interesting and uh, sometimes difficult times and there are some fairly significant challenges ahead of us, I think, in this um, compressed 10-week uh, first semester. But there's a couple of very important points I need to emphasise right at the start. Um, the first is that all of our staff are back at work and everybody is keen to get back into teaching and to help you with your study. Uh, the second point is that structural engineers have done very thorough checking on all of our teaching spaces, uh, lecture rooms and other buildings. Everything is structurally sound. It's come through two earthquakes with no structural damage and we're confident that the buildings are completely safe for you to use. Now, none of us have ever taught a 10-week semester like this and none of you as students have ever experienced one. So it's going to be a learning process for, um, for all of us. That's why I think it's very important that we keep talking. If you encounter a problem in your um, course or uh, teaching arrangements during the semester, please uh, let your examiner know as soon as possible, or your course advisor, because the chances are, if you're experiencing that problem, then so are a good number of other people. And we would actually like to get on top of these things before they really do become problems. I think more than ever the usual messages that we um, tell people at the start of the semester apply uh, much more than they ever do. It's very important to get started on assessment early. Don't sit back and leave things for a couple of weeks while you relax and settle in. Uh, we haven't got the time for that. It's also very important that you plan, uh, make sure you know exactly what you need to do before you uh, start to do it. Make sure that you take detailed notes along the way so that you're not chasing your tail at the end trying to fill in gaps. And if you put in the effort to organise things at the start, then you'll find that actually you have got plenty of time to do what's required during the semester and to have a bit of much needed relaxation at the same time, uh, that you're not cramming things at the end at, at very strange hours. Um, more generally, one of the things I think that's really hit me with the earthquake is the variety of experiences. Some people have property damage, uh, some don't. Uh, some people know others who have been uh, very directly and sometimes quite sadly affected. Um, others don't. So we can never be quite sure of the experiences of the people around us. And we can't be very sure of what some of the reactions might be over the next few weeks. So again, it's very important to keep talking to each other about your experiences and concerns. Uh, take advantage of what student health and counselling uh, have to offer if you need to. Uh, make sure you keep in touch with your course examiners um, if you need uh, particular consideration around various teaching arrangements. And if you uh, do those things and if we can uh, address the challenges sooner rather than later, then in the end we can hopefully all find our way through what is certainly going to be a difficult semester, but uh, get to the end of it and um, look back on it with some degree of happiness that we've um, uh, put in the best effort that we can and that um, you know, we're adapting to the challenges that are facing us. So please don't hesitate to get in touch with um, the ESD staff and with me if you need to. We're all very happy to hear from you.